Well, hello everyone, Texie88 here and welcome to another review. And now we're taking a look at ALF, aka ALF in the Colour Caves, for the Commodore 64, which came out in 1984 and was published by Spinnaker Software. Lead ALF into the Colour Cave, move the joystick, press the button to move through a tunnel, watch out for waffle dumps. Oh, I see that. Oh, I'm actually in control now. I thought that was just a just a bit of an instruction mode. I didn't realize I was actually in control now. So down we go. And um, we've got to guide Alf through these pipes while avoiding the waffle gumps. Yeah. Not seen the waffle gumps yet, apart from that attract mode. Ah, oh, there they are. And then you get down to the bottom and... and then you gotta go up this pipe where you get where you get a brief respite. And then you get that annoying music again. And rinse and repeat. Seriously, this was a 1984. Couldn't they really have come up with something a bit more enjoyable than this? I mean, look at it. Oh, great, the waffle gumps are after me. Oh, no. And you get to the bottom, and of course, you get treated to that music again. Oh, dear. Goodness me, this is boring. I mean, there are way better games than this in 1984. I mean, this is way too simplistic. This sort of thing you might have expected from s several years earlier. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, great. Now, now Alf seems to be spaced out and he's been changing colours. He must be, he must have been snorting something very um, strong. Oh, for God's sake! Seriously, what is the point in all this? Oh, that waffle gun went straight through me. Only two of only this is about three minutes on board already. Oh, for God's sake. Goodness me. Why did they even bother with this? There's just not enough to it. And if you go to a, into a waffle gum, you just get sent back to the start. But apart from that, it's not really punishment. Oh, for goodness sake. It's clever where they got Alf to, to, to sort of... Oh, God. Oh, for goodness sake. And now the game's glitched. Look, good Alf's body's at the top of the screen there. Why did they bother making this game? Like, it barely even counts as a game, and it's so easy. Oh, uh, what? Oh, for goodness sake. I'm, I'm actually horrified by this. Great, the game's totally broken. Well, you pretty much see more than all everything the game has to offer anyway, and it and 
even for a game from 1984, that's not much. So that's Alf in the Colour Caves for the Commodore 64. An utterly pointless, boring, uneventful experience that barely presents any challenge. In fact, the biggest challenge is whether or not you can actually get through the game without it glitching like this. Graphics. So, yeah, graphics, not really anything to write home about, even for a game from 1984. I mean, it's, I suppose it's a bit clever the way they got Alf to take on the form of the whatever it was passing through. But other than that, it, they're nothing special. And the waffle glumps look like they're just eyes half the time. Sound minimal apart from that music which you'll get which you'll get fed up with before too long because every time you reach the bottom of the screen then and then get to the top of the screen to start the next round you'll get treated with it and alf's not exactly the fastest thing in the world so you'll have it's not like you can just repress a button and quickly turn the music off um gameplay well there's just nowhere near enough substance, even for a game from 1984. I mean, Pac-Man came out before this, and uh, and that was way more fun to play than this. And this is just overly simplistic, even for its time. And the waffle gums are so waffle gums are so easy to avoid; it presents little to no challenge. Even a little kid would probably. Uh, probably get through and through this a few times and think uh, mummy is there anything else I can play this is boring so I'm gonna give Alf in the color caves one out of ten everything about the game is just boring and pointless so anyway I hope you enjoyed that review catch you on another video soon Texie 88 out